All right, what is up guys? It is McDeegs and welcome back to another Feed the Beast Let's Play. I believe this is episode three. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, as you can tell by the title, hopefully I'm still going to name it what I have planned right now. Um, we are on the road to renewable energy. That is what I want to run off. I want to just run off only renewable energy. Um, even though every energy in Minecraft is technically renewable because you could just keep on generating land for an infinite amount of chunks and just keep on getting more coal so technically it's renewable but uh for us y you know what i mean you know what i mean um <laughs> so anyway um so we're going to need to start off by making a rolling machine which we will use to make mixed metal ingots so let's go ahead and make that i have the recipe right here you need iron ingots in the corners and then you need oh did i not make it you need one crafting table whoops oh before i do anything this is really cool i really want to show you guys this um let's go ahead and make a crafting table if you put a crafting table like that and a stick like that you have a hand i mean not a hand a pocket crafting table like you can just go like this and now you can craft stuff except my inventory is full so can't really use it but that is really cool um <laughs> so let's go on to the rolling machine which i need another crafting table which goes in the middle pistons and ingots in the corners there we go rolling machine now we need to power the rolling machine and the way you power the rolling machine is with a engine and i am going to make an electric engine today so let's go ahead and get 10 10 ingots two tin gears piston piston in the bottom middle and a glass electric engine there we go the thing that i like about the electric engine is that it will shut itself off uh if it starts to overheat which is really good because it means no explosions and if it's off for you know like a minute or two because it needs to cool that's fine with me you know i don't have to turn it off manually um so anyway um now that we got that Let's go ahead and make some mixed metal ingots. And I always get like bad FPS when I come out here. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell because I'm only recording at 30 FPS. But I'm playing at like 100. And it always goes down to 30 when I'm out here. So, um, let's go ahead and make this rolling machine. You don't need to power it with uh, with the same energy that you use to power the uh, macerator with and stuff like that. You need to use the engine to power it. And the engine takes power. So, once you got that, you need a... Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Okay. Not good. <laughs> I don't even know how he got over that fence, I guess. Oh, yeah. Spiders can, like, climb and stuff. Um. Anyway. Uh, I forgot. I need cobblestone. So, because I need to make a lever. So, like that. One lever. And now we can use the lever to power this i hope you guys can't see the lag all right so now it's going to generate mg and enderman um so now it's going to generate mg which now to make mixed metal ingots we need to put fine iron on the top bronze in the middle and i think i can't remember what goes in the bottom is it copper or is it 10 i think it might be 10 yep 10 all right so now to make it you just click on it and it will drain your mg and make you some mixed metal ingot. All right, now we need to make, what do we need to make? We need to make a compressor. Yes, that's it, compressor. Uh, because we need the compressor to turn the mixed metal ingots into advanced alloy. Um, so let's go ahead and make the, uh, and you're probably wondering how I got this carbon plate because uh, the way you make carbon plate is by putting carbon uh, raw carbon mesh into uh, a compressor and I don't have a compressor yet um, I actually made one and made that and then I realized I should really make this in a video I should really put the compressor in the video so I destroyed it and now I'm gonna make it again so for the compressor you need to put stone on the sides and I believe it is a machine block in the middle and a circuit below there we go compressor so let's go put down the compressor so we can make some advanced alloy. I remember advanced alloy was a little bit harder to make in uh, in Tekkit. 
So this is a plus. So there we go. Put the compressor, put the mixed metal uh, ingots in there, and it will make us some advanced alloy. All right, so we got the advanced alloy. Two pieces is what we need. And uh, now we need to make an industrial centrifuge because we need silicon cells to make solar panels, which is our end goal in this video um, or next video, depending on how long it is. And uh, damn rain. I hate the rain. Let me turn it down so you guys don't have to listen to that. Um, I'll put it on one. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, so we need to make an, uh, a silicon cell, which is made with a centrifuge. Um, so to make a centrifuge, we're going to need to make a, um, what do we need to make? An extractor. So let's go ahead and make an, uh, an extractor. You need a circuit in the middle, machine block on top. And I cannot remember what goes on the sides. Tree tap, that's it. We need a tree taps on the side. I just totally blanked for a second. I had no idea what it was. All right, so now we got the extractor, which we are not going to make an extractor. We are, we're not going to use the extractor, I mean. We are going to use it to make our industrial centrifuge. So here it is. Now all we need to do is we have all of this. Now we just need to make an advanced machine block, which is made like this which I already prepared, and I don't think I showed you guys how to make an advanced circuit, so I'll just show you the recipe right there. Um, it's just the upgraded circuit for more complex machines. So anyway, on to the advanced machine block. I believe it was the carbon plates on the side, alloy on the top, and machine block in the middle. So we're going to need actually two of these, which I did not prepare for. I did not realize, so I'll just go ahead and make another one of these, and I'll be right back. All right, so got the advanced machine block. We are ready to make our industrial centrifuge. <laughs> um, sounds so technical. So we go ahead and put the advanced machine blocks on the side, and I think we put the advanced circuits on the top and bottom, and we put the extractor in the middle, and we have ourselves, ladies and gentlemen, an industrial centrifuge. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and place it. I really hope you guys can't see this lag. It says that it's going below 30, which is what I record at. But all right. So now, in order to get our silicon, silicon, however you want to say it, uh, cells, we're going to need to make cells, which you need. Did I start? Did I make? Yes, I did. I made some tin, which you're going to need tin to make empty cells, and then. There are there is actually a couple of ways you can make the um and I totally forgot how to make I think it's like this. Yep, there we go. Alright, so let's just make uh I don't want to use up all my tin, so we'll just make sixteen. Um so to make silicon cells, let's just look it up really quick. Silicon cells. We are going we there's seven different ways you can do it. This is one way. This is another, and another, and another, and another. Um, so, as you can see right here, you can make it with sand, putting sand in the middle. It will give you a compressed air cell and a silicon cell. It takes 500 seconds to make. But if we use 30, I mean 64 redstone, we can make 27 silicon cells. Um, and we can also make this other stuff like ruby dust and all this other cool stuff. Um, so I think I'm going to do it the redstone way. I don't have a lot of redstone, so I might need to go mining. Yeah, I'm going to need to go mining for a while. So I'll go ahead and get the required amount of redstone, and I will get back to you so guys. So we got the required amount of redstone and a little bit more, which is good, so I don't run out for other machines. But let's go ahead and put the redstone in the middle, and let me just look up silicon cells really quick so I can see how long it takes. And it will take 1,100 seconds, which is awfully long. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be spinning. Oh, I don't have a wire connected? Hmm. Why is this not spinning? Maybe on top. I'm having... Oh, maybe we're out of energy. No, it's still cooking. 
Huh. I wonder what could be the problem here. Oh, <laughs> I'm stupid. We didn't put the empty cells in here. So, it should be. Hopefully, no, still not. Okay, I guess I. that's not the reason. <laughs> oh, we need 27 empty cells in there. All right, figured it out. <laughs> so, let's get this stuff out of here because I don't feel like going back in the house. Um, so, let's go ahead and get the tin in here. And we need 27 cells. So we're going to need to make, let's just make 16 more. And put it in there. If it doesn't work this time, I really, okay, there we go. <laughs> Got it to work. All right, so it's going to take a long time. It's going to take like probably like 13 seconds, I'm guessing. Um, not 13 seconds, 13 minutes, I'm guessing. Um, so it is making it, it's going to take an awfully long time. So... While it is doing that, I will just, uh, I don't know what I'll do. I guess I'll work on my farm, and I will just cut it out. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. We're done! <laughs> the one time I look away, we're done. Um, okay, so we got a whole bunch of stuff. Silicon cells, pyrite dust, ruby dust, and ender eye dust. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, can we actually turn this into a ruby? No, we cannot. I'm sure maybe if we smelt it. Yeah, if we smelt it, it will turn into a ruby. Won't it? Won't it? Oh, I guess it won't. Okay, well, whatever. Doesn't really matter. What we are here for is the silicon cells. Here we go. We are going to make ourselves some solar panels, which is going to be freaking awesome. Except I kind of forgot how to make it, so we got to look it up again. Totally wrong. Holy crap. <laughs> All right. Oh, God, I should have... Okay. I should have looked at it better. In the middle. Um... All right. Silicon's on the side. Generator in the bottom. This on the top. Uh, this in the middle. And circuits on the side. There we go. Solar panels. Two of them. We need more generators. Um, we can make two more. Uh, but anyway. We have ourselves some solar panels. Our first source of renewable energy. I guess we'll uh, we'll just... We have to hook it up to the... Uh, to this machine. So let's go ahead and... Actually... We'll put it, we'll put it right here, I guess. And then, are these getting any light? All right, let's go sleep so we can see that thing generate some power. <laughs> uh, sleep time. All right, so it should have a little symbol saying that it is collecting sunlight. Let's check it out. Yep, it is generating sunlight. Yeah, now we need to make another bat box or another anything. All right. So this is really cool. We got our solar panels. Uh, I might rename the title of this video. So there might, the beginning of this video kind of made no sense, but it's all right. It's all right. We made a lot of machines. We made uh, one, two, three machines, one engine and two solar panels. Awesome. That is just awesome. Um, okay. So thank you guys for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please do give a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Um, helps my channel grow in the video grow so that'd be much appreciated um so yeah thank you guys for watching this and i'll see you guys next time peace